Bella, great to see you. Uh, good luck tonight with Richard Good Coleman. to be here in the garden, and I'm looking forward to a great main event. Always, always, right? I mean, this place is sensational for boxing. It's the Mecca. I mean, it, this is still the garden. It's still the greatest place to watch a fight on Earth. Um, and it's magical uh, just being at MSG. So I'm happy to be here. But we have another good venue in New York, but this is still the garden. Absolutely. Now, um, before we talk about that, let me ask you this. Uh, George Cambosis has talked about wanting to go back to Australia, as he has every right to. He's, for his... he's the emperor, man. He could do whatever he'd like right now. Absolutely. And um, and he wants to fight in Australia. He's made that very clear in this whole team. And he's ultimately going to decide who, where, and, uh, and when, honestly. Now, he has the freedom to decide, I would assume, basically anyone. But, you know, there are a couple fights that make a lot of sense, and they're very competitive fights. Devin Haney has expressed interest. He in wants... Um, he keeps reiterating that he wants the biggest fights. He doesn't want <coughs> he doesn't want just an ordinary opponent, and that's he's ultimately going to decide though. Can't and look, this. you know, one thing about George, and I'm going to say here too that that I'm guilty a bit here also. This kid has believed in himself. He knew that he was capable of this the whole time, yeah. and I think he feels like the world didn't see what he saw. And maybe I'm a little bit guilty of it too. I knew he was a terrific fighter. Yeah. But to go in there and dominate on the biggest stage and the biggest moment of his life under difficult circumstances, I mean, I give him all the credit in the world, man. He he uh, he did something magical. And in and, and a fight that was delayed and postponed, and you know, he, he had to train under unusual circumstances. He trained in Australia most of the time without his number one trainer with him. Um, limited sparring, he, you know, uh, because of where he was. But um, he always believed that his dad believed that he was destined for greatness. And uh, maybe the rest of us were a little bit guilty of taking it with a grain of salt. But, you know, when, when you're out there and you can prove, when you, when you are as confident as George and have that self-belief, and you tell everyone exactly what you're going to do, and then you do it, that's pretty awesome. And I want to tell you something, man, I don't put any, I think... The sky's the limit for this kid. I, I think he's going to keep getting better. I think he's going to keep rising to occasions. I'm excited to see what's ahead for George Cambos. Absolutely. I mean, look, adversity is the greatest test of, of a man's character. We just got done talking about that. Um, but boxing is going to do what boxing is going to do. And there's already talk from this fight. I know this from the WBO standpoint. They're ready to, to establish Vasily Lomachenko in victory into a, a mandatory position against Cambosis. And WBO will be first in line to say, like, hey, the mandatory is going to take place for us. Is is that going to interrupt efforts to either have, like, a, let's maybe call it a showcase fight in Australia or a Devin Haney undisputed fight? Uh, uh, well, let's wait till they do it. Okay. And, and then, and then they, you know, when they say there's a mandatory, there's a time period by which you have to do a mandatory. You can also uh, petition to have a fight in between if it's another significant fight. Um, there are a lot of things that can happen. And by the way, let's see what happens in the main event here tonight. You never know. Maybe we're talking about Richard Comey exactly. tomorrow morning. Hey, if there's one thing we know, Lou, if anyone knows the mandatory rules, it's the Harvard Harvard educated lawyer. Lou yeah, I mean, I'm adept at dealing with the rules, and, and we'll handle it. And um. And with respect, look, Lomachenko certainly has always been on a short list of possible opponents. But uh, Lomachenko has a, a big hill that he also has to climb tonight. You know, um, yeah, I know that Richard's in there with one of the best fighters in the world. Lom is in there with a very difficult guy to fight, a very long guy with a lot of reach, a lot of power, a lot of size. Um, I, I'm expecting the main event to be a great fight, and then we'll see. And then, and then you know what? Uh, the winner of that fight, I'm sure, like everybody else, will be calling out George Cambosis. Absolutely. Congratulations, Lou. Thank you very victory. much. Happy to see you. You too.